In this video, we're going to continue to look at the capacity of steel members in tension, and we'll look at a, sort of a more special subcase. And where previously we've looked at holes which are uh, aligned, but you know, uh, sometimes for you know because you just can't physically fit uh, a, a bigger section size in, and this was particularly true for older uh, construction, um, you might have to stagger your holes in order to get the same number of fasteners in in a sort of smaller area. And if we look at that, well, you know, we're always worried about, you know, what are the failure planes? And with a staggered hole, we could have a, a couple options. So I've got the same, you know, nominally the same setup drawn here for sort of case A and case B. In case A, we can imagine a failure plane uh, just uh, cutting right through it uh, much like we've already seen for when we've looked at, uh, you know, rupture of the net area. Now for case B, you know, we could potentially look at a different case where it's going to come, you know, down at an angle. And um, let's just give some quick dimensions here where we can call this dimension, which is perpendicular, uh, to the line SG and we can call this one SP where SP is the stagger so that's going to be the offset in line with pulling And then SG is what we call the gauge. And that's the um, offset perpendicular. To the tension. So that's just our, our um, terminology there. Now for case A, we kind of know how to do how to deal with this. This is very similar to what we've already done, uh, where we just have a net area and we we can sort of come together. But for case B, we this sort of uh, true axial stress uh, no longer holds. So you know for case B, uh, stress equal to P over A. Uh, is not true. And the reason it's not true is there is some interaction uh, due to the axial load and the shearing uh, across here. So we've got a axial shear interaction is present. And so, you know, this is, uh, might be quite complicated to deal with, you know, how much shear and how much uh, axial load and what's that interaction between them. And how do we, if we are in a uh, design setting where we might need to iterate uh, many different times, uh, we don't really want to do very complex analyses. Instead, uh, we would prefer to do a simplified approximation, uh, which gets us a pretty good answer and is going to be slightly conservative. And so... Uh, the way that we deal with this is we, we look at the work that uh, Cochran uh, put out in 1992. And this has been sort of adopted by uh, the code. And uh, essentially, we're going to treat this as a axial problem. So as I said, you know, sigma equals p over a. Um, but in order to treat this as a axial problem, we're going to reduce down the holes.
And you know, by reducing down those holes effectively, what we can do is we can account for the, this uh, additional capacity we get uh, from its shearing instead of it just, you know, uh, we effectively have a, a larger area here. And so uh, that's, that's what we're gonna do. Now, um, the specific way that we look at these holes is we'll do what's called an effective hole diameter. So we're writing that down. Diameter for staggered holes. And what we'd have is called D prime is going to be what this effective hole diameter is. And that's simply going to be uh, D minus SP squared over four times S G where D equals the hole diameter. SP is the stagger length. and SG is the gauge length. And you can think of the gauge length as your uh, transverse. Spacing. So, you know, similar here, SP along the line of pulling SG uh, perpendicular to your line of pulling. <clears throat> so, um, and that's good for figuring out what one hole is, but you know we often have multiple holes. So how do we deal with that? Well, um, we, we effectively go, you know, just put a box around this, you know. So, if D prime equals D minus SP two over four SG, Then, our, when we find our net area, and it's just simply going to be uh, the gross area, like we always start, uh, minus the sum of all of these holes, sum of uh, d prime uh, times the uh, thickness. And that's, you know, if you think about it, that's as effectively the same as just going to be, you know, the area of holes, and then we'll just do effective. So much like what we're how we're used to calculating uh, the net area. So I'm just going to uh, expand this out. Um, so you've got you know an equals um, ag uh, minus the sum of d times t. So just multiplying this out um, minus. SP squared times the thickness over 4 S G and effectively we will do this for do for each stagger and we'll do an example here just to show you this but you know one thing to note you know, we have a minus a negative um, effectively, what this is doing, this SP um, over 4SG times the thickness of the steel, is effectively um, you know, adding area um, to our net area there. So uh, that's our overview of this. I think uh, it'd be a little bit easier to show you uh, how to use this if we just go through a quick example. And so uh, that's what I have here. So I've got a plate and it's got um, you know some staggered holes. Uh, we've got our, our SP uh, down here and our uh, SG um, transverse. So 14 millimeter uh, grade 300 plate. It's uh, 300 millimeters thick and it's using M24 bolts. So first thing that we know is our hole diameter equals 24 plus 2 equals 26 
millimeters. And um, then what we want to find out is really well, you know, what's the what's the minimum net area here. So um, f easiest thing to do with these type of problems is sort of give yourself uh, some sort of coordinate system. So I like to go through label each of the um, holes as well as the uh, location uh, along the um, um, sort of you know, edges of the plate uh, just with some letters and that way I can start thinking about well what are all of the um, you know failure lines well we've got one which is just sort of our classic net area so we'll, we'll write that down we'll go line one it'll be a b d and e so that's that's you know our the same failure which we could have if it were um you know with um you know just so you know equally spaced holes and no stagger um another way it could fail could go from a to b and then it could come along uh, c d e so you know line two uh, is A, B, C, D, and E. And then sort of our final line would just be uh, from uh, F, C, to G. F, C, G. And then we've come back through and we've sort of effectively repeated the pattern that we have. And when we do these, we always want to sort of do our design based upon the uh, leading line. Now, uh, a quick sort of bit of inspection. Uh, we know that with line three, <clears throat> there's only um, one hole. Uh, it's this is really we can sort of determine from inspection um, that this is not going to be our governing case. So from inspection, only one hole not minimum a n and it's also really clear to see that because you know you have the same gross area subtracting out one hole versus subtracting out two holes here uh, we know that at least line a b d e is going to be bigger than line three so now let's go through we we have two more to check to just find out well what's our minimum a n and we'll start with line one So uh, AN is simply going to be um, a G minus uh, two holes times D times the thickness of the material. Uh, so again, fairly straightforward. So um, we're going to be 400 millimeters tall. So 400 millimeters times 14 millimeters thick minus uh, two holes times 26 millimeter is the size of the hole uh, times the thickness 14 millimeter a n equals uh, 4872 millimeters squared All right, that's a line. Now we just have one more line to check to find out what our minimum area is. Line two is our other possible failure mode, and that's going to be A, B, C, D, E. Um, and so A, N uh, is just going to be our gross area minus the sum of our holes times our thickness minus um, S, P, squared times 2, so our stagger over 4 times our gauge, and we will do this for each gauge. And doing some quick rearranging, and it's going to be um, AG equals, oops, sorry, not equals, AG minus the sum of the holes and that projected area plus the sum of our uh, sort of staggers that we have here, which would be 
sp squared times t over 4 s g. And again, this is plus because we've got uh, minus a minus, so that's going to be adding on there. Um, well, expanding this out, we know ag 400 times 14 is 56 hundred millimeters squared minus uh, some of our holes we have uh, one two three holes uh, which are 26 millimeters wide and 14 millimeter thick plate and then finally plus uh, two staggers And because they're the same, we can just simply, you know, we're, it's a summation, but I'll just sort of lump this all together. Two at um, our stagger distance is uh, 75. Two times 75 times 14 over four times 125 for our gauge. Um, if we expand all of that out and sort of do uh, our arithmetic, uh, we get, you know, AN equals 5600 minus uh, 1092 plus 315. So you can see the we can account for essentially a, almost a third of the area we've lost uh, simply by doing the stagger. Um, and then so AN is going to equal 4000. 823 millimeters squared. So, uh, looking at these two, well, 823 is smaller than 872. Uh, this is going to end up um, governing. But I do think it is worth noting that, you know, the two failure modes we have here, it's either we're looking at the two holes or, or three holes with a bit of a stagger, and they're very similar areas. And so that means that, you know, one of the advantages of staggering your holes is you can get um, far more uh, sort of capacity out of a smaller uh, section size. And, and that can be helpful uh, from, you know, when time to time. It, it does, it's not done that often because it can become uh, a bit finicky when doing sort of steel erection on site, but you know, for those cases where you really just need to get that uh, extra capacity um, sort of pulled out of there, uh, it is possible to use that. So um, that's our, our sort of overview of our staggered holes. Um, again, just it's quite straightforward. We're just essentially uh, modifying these staggers so that uh, we can analyze it as a pure axial uh, problem. So with that, thanks for watching.